how you can improve the effectiveness of your account management. Yay! If your business has a portfolio of existing customers that's looked after by a sales team, then this is the episode for you. I want to talk about effective account management. We all know that there is loads of value within our existing customers. Uh -huh. We want to retain those customers and we want to grow them where that is possible. But very few businesses have the right structure in place to be able to do this properly. And the result of this is often that sales managers don't have the right visibility that they need. Salespeople may not use their time effectively and they might be very reactive to their customer portfolios instead of proactive. And all of that is just a little bit messy. So if you want to tighten this up for your business, you just need to do two simple things. Number one is you need to be able to categorize your existing customers. And number two is you need to come up with an appropriate contact strategy for each of those categories. So let's talk about categorization first. I'd like you to divide your customer base into A, B, or C. Now, instead of using revenue or spend as the key driver of each of those categories, you're gonna use potential. You want to align your sales team's time to where the potential sits within your existing customer portfolio. High spending customers need to be looked after properly. But what we are trying to do here is grow your existing customers. This will now give you a clear understanding of where the opportunity sits within your existing customer portfolio. The next thing you wanna do is get your sales team together and brainstorm the various contact strategies that you need in place for each of those categories. Think about the touches that you can put in place in your business. And what you'll want to do is you'll want to build out what the most appropriate contact strategy is for your A's, your B's, and your C's. Now, what we should have after this exercise is complete is a clear understanding of how many A's, B's, and C's you have, and a clear understanding of what level of contact each of those customer groups should have. Now, this is your default contact strategy. This way, your sales manager has a clear understanding of what should be happening. The sales team have clear expectations around what they should be doing. And if you can put this into your CRM system or some sort of diary system or even a spreadsheet, <laughs> yeah, boy. it gives you a proper understanding of who is getting the time and attention that they need and who may not be getting the time and attention that they need. You're repeating yourself. You're repeating yourself. You're repeating yourself. So to summarize, what we are trying to do is categorize our customers by potential, come up with a default contact schedule for each of those customers, and then make sure that there's some sort of mechanism in place to keep track of who has had what level of contact and what needs to happen with each of those customers in the future. Get that all in place and it will genuinely give you the right structure to be able to get the best value out of your existing customers. I'll see you next time on Mind Your Own Business.